The major change of plans from Foxconn, the company will shift from a much needed manufacturing facility in Racine County to a research and development project. Now the finger pointing. Charles Benson joins us with more on this developing story, Charles. Well, it was just last June that President Trump and Foxconn executives celebrated the company's groundbreaking ceremony. Today, Democrats repeated doubts about Foxconn's ability to deliver. Republicans blame the new governor for the change. Foxconn's decision now to shift from a largely manufacturing facility to a more research and tech hub caught Governor Evers administration by surprise. Quote, our team has been in contact with Foxconn since learning this news and will continue to monitor the project to ensure the company delivers on its promise to the people of Wisconsin. That promise was a $10 billion investment and 13,000 jobs, which Foxconn says it remains committed to employing. The Taiwan-based company claim global market concerns for the change, but GOP leaders in the legislature were pointing the finger at, quote, economic uncertainty with the Evers administration. Quote, Governor Evers has an anti-jobs agenda and pledged to do away with a successful business incentive for manufacturing and agriculture. Foxconn's North American headquarters is now in Milwaukee. Mayor Barrett expressed concerns about a possible shift away from manufacturing and the impact on jobs. Whatever the project changes to transforms into something that's that's more research oriented. Um, that bodes doesn't bode well for those who are underserved in Milwaukee. Now in Racine County, where taxpayers are on the hook for $1.4 billion, officials said, quote, we understand that Foxconn must be nimble in responding to market changes to ensure the long term success of their Wisconsin operations. We fully expect that Foxconn will meet its obligations.